In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the circumference of a circle. So if you watch the video Parts of the Circle, you should have seen that the circumference is just a fancy name for the perimeter of a circle. And to find the circumference, it's given by the formula, circumference equals pi times diameter. So this circumference, the whole way around the outside of a circle, is found by multiplying the diameter by pi. So the formula is circumference equals pi times diameter, or sometimes it's written algebraically as just c equals pi d. But also it can be written as c equals 2 pi r, and that just means that if you're given the radius, you double it and then times by a pi to get the circumference. So all three of these formulae might be used by your maths teacher. Let's have a look at a typical question. So here we've got a circle and it's got a diameter of 8 centimetres and we've been asked to calculate the circumference of this circle. So to do that, you're going to first of all start by writing down the formula. So circumference equals pi times diameter. So the circumference is going to equal pi times, well the diameter is 8, so pi times 8. So we're just going to do it on a calculator. Now on your calculator you'll see that the pi button is this button here. This You can see above that centre button you've got your yellow pi there if you're using the Casio. If you go to a different calculator, find the pi button. So what I would have to do here is I'd press the shift button, then I'd press that, and then pi would come up on my display, and then press times 8. So if I press pi times 8 on my calculator, then I get that to be equal to shift pi times 8 equals I've got 25.1327, so on. And let's just run that to one decimal place, so 25.1. And the circumference is just the perimeter, so it's just measured in centimeters, so 25.1 centimeters to one decimal place. So to find the circumference of a circle, you just do pi times diameter, so pi times eight in this case, and whenever you do pi times 8 on your calculator, you're going to get 25.1 centimetres to one decimal place. If this is a non-calculator question, you may be asked to leave your answer in terms of pi. It may say, calculate the circumference and leave your answer in terms of pi. That means you can't use a calculator for it, so you, instead of doing pi times 8, all you would do is you would just write 8 pi, okay, and then your centimetres. So if it ever says in terms of pi, instead of doing pi times 8, well, you would just put it together like you would any algebra sort of multiplication, and you just write 8 pi. Let's have a look at another question. So, here we've got a circle, and we have the radius is 7. So the circumference equals pi times diameter. Well, because the radius is 7, the diameter, the whole way across, would be 14. So we just do pi times 14. And when we do pi times 14 on the calculator, remember, press shift, and then the button there, that center one, to get pi. So shift pi times 14. Whenever I do that, I get my answer to be 43.9822 and so on. And then let's just round it to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, well the 8 would make the 9 go up to 10. So it'd be 44.0 centimeters, centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, let's have a look at another question. This time we've been given a circle and we've been told that the circumference of the circle is 80 centimeters. So the distance around the outside is 80 centimeters. So we would need to find the diameter, this diameter across the middle. Okay, well to get the circumference you do pi times diameter. So to get the diameter, instead of timesing by pi, you're gonna divide by pi. So the diameter is equal to the circumference divided by pi. Because to get the circumference, you times by pi. So to get the diameter, you do the opposite of the inverse, which is divide by pi. So the diameter will be equal to the circumference, which is 80 divided by pi. And whenever we do that, well, I just do 80 divided by pi. And whenever I do that in my calculator, I get an answer of 25.464, so on, centimeters. And let's just round that to one decimal place. So it's going to be 25.5 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, so if you want to find the circumference, you do pi times diameter. If you need to find the diameter, you do the circumference divided by pi. Let's just have a look at one last question. So in this question, we've been told the diameter of a wheel is 20 centimeters. So we've got this wheel, we've been told the diameter, so the whole way across through the center, is equal to 20 centimeters. It says if the wheel completes 15 revolutions, how far will it travel in total? Well, let's first of all work out the circumference of the circle, because in one revolution, that's how far the circle will travel 
in that revolution. So if we do circumference equals pi times diameter, so that's going to be pi times the diameter is 20. And if we do that, pi times 20, we get an answer of 62.8. 3185307 centimeters. So that's the circumference of the circle. But it does 15 complete revolutions. So it's going to do a distance which is 15 times this value. So the distance traveled, distance traveled equals 62.83 and so on. And don't round that because you don't want to lose any accuracy. Times 15. So we times that by 15. So multiply by 15. I get an answer of um, 942.477 so on um, centimeters, which whenever we round it to one decimal place would be 942.5 centimeters to one decimal place. So that's how far we travel in 15 complete revolutions. And that's it. So the main things to remember are the circumference equals pi times diameter. There's a song to remember that. And um, that's it. And if you ever need to use your pi button, you press shift. If you're using the Casio, this one, you press shift and then the center button there, and you get your pi up. Okay, and that's it.